Hello everyone, this video serves as a follow-up to our original video that goes over using Google Meet for distance learning. We'd recommend that you pause this video now and view that one first if you're new to using Google Meet so that you learn the basics of how that application works. In this video, we specifically want to go over the brand new integration of Google Meet into Google Classroom. You may have noticed recently that Google Classroom notified you that Google Meet is now integrated into it. If you find that you are using Google Meet with students frequently and that you don't want to have to always go and copy and paste Meet codes into your classroom, but instead want an easy way for them to be able to access Google Meet sessions directly from your classroom, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to get this started in Google Classroom. The place that you want to go to begin your Google Meet integration is in the settings gear, which is in the upper right hand corner. When you click on the settings gear and scroll down a little bit, you will notice in the general section that there is a new area over here concerning Google Meet. Classroom now supports Google Meet. To get started in this, the first thing you will do is you will generate a Meet link by clicking this button. After you do that, it will generate for you a Google Meet link that can be used in this Google Classroom with your students. You'll notice for mine, it says meet.google.com slash lookup. And then after that, it's using a special nickname for this Meet session with my students. Right now, you will also notice that it is on to be visible for students. When I click Save over here, those settings will take place. And in my Google Classroom, you will now notice that up here in my banner at the top, it has a Meet link that is available for all of my students. Now when my students go to Google Classroom, if I have this set to visible, they will see this link up here, and they can click it to join a Meet session with me. If I decide at some point that I don't want this to be visible to students, let's say the Meet session is over and I would like to hide that link from them, I can go back to the Settings menu, and I can scroll down to this portion, and on the Visible to Students portion, I can turn that off. Once I toggle that off and I click Save, that link will no longer be visible to my students. So this is a good way to basically be able to um, create Meet sessions and then have those go away when you don't want students to be able to uh, attend one of those. The other thing that I want to show you in here is how you can integrate this Meet session with a particular assignment. If I go up here to the settings gear once again, and I go down and I turn this on to be visible to students or off, I could do either thing. One of the options that you have in here is to go to this meet code and to copy it. If you copy this meet code, you can then add that to an assignment as a link. So if I wanted to create some classwork and I were going to go over here and create an assignment for my students, I could give it a title and instructions. I could attach some documents, and one of the things I could do is I could attach to this my link to my Meet session. So that can be attached in my classroom to a particular assignment instead of just available in the header up at the top. The last thing I want to mention in this is if I go over here to the settings gear and I scroll down a little bit, you will notice that if you click this drop down, you also have the ability to reset your code. So if at any point you feel like this code has been compromised and it's been shared between some students and you want to reset it, you can click the reset code and that previous class nickname no longer works. So if any students still had this copied and saved somewhere and they went back to this link, it would no longer be able to pull up that meet session for them. So perhaps a good habit to get into is to run a meet session once you're done with it, come in here, turn it off um, from visibility, and then go over here and reset that code until you want to use it again the next time. That way you'll get a new fresh nickname for each one of the sessions that you want to use with students. For those that teach secondary classes, if you want to have multiple class periods in together, one thing you can do is generate a meet code from one of your classrooms and then copy this link over here and paste it into the other periods that you might want to join at the same time. All of those students that have this link would all be able to join the same session because they're all using the same nickname for that particular class.